This video, sponsored by True Gold Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, July 10th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back after three days with no electricity. The storm came right through, well, everywhere, really. All of Houston, all the woodlands, all of Conroe, even up in Huntsville, the electricity was out. So, we're going to get back to it. Today, we've already had what appears to be four M-class solar flares and perhaps five or a really strong C-class solar flare. Although it looks like an M1 when we measure it here, guys. So, and this was right at 1554. Let's see what we have. Over to SpaceWeatherLive.com, we see that they're calling out four M-class solar flares, an M1.5, really 1.57, an M1.3, an M1.4, and an M1. I believe this M1 is the last one. There should be a fifth one on this list, but there is not. Uh... It could have been a filament eruption. We'll have to check on that. Currently still running a C2 plus baseline. We have a 15% chance of an X-class solar flare, although this is just a beta gamma sunspot. There's no delta about it yet. We have a 6% chance of an M-class solar flare. I guess that should be 100% by now. And of course, a 99% chance of a C-class solar flare, even though we've been running a C baseline. All right, we have a sunspot, 3738. It's very complex looking, very large, pointed directly at Earth. And that's the sunspot that's been giving us all the heck. It's like we have a total of eight sunspots Earth-facing, and the backside of the sun looks horrific, as I will soon sh uh, show you. Over to GO, 16 solar ultraviolet imager. You can see all the activity coming from our sunspot group, 37, 38. We also see we have a large coronal hole Earth facing, which could mean that we're going to see a combo of plasma and solar winds inbound. Over to LASCO C3, I want to show you all something very interesting. You can see the plasma, but they have it dark here. I've never seen that before. Watch it go again here in a second. It looks like dark pot. Look, you see it? Very hard to see. Almost like they've tried to remove it here. And I've never seen dark plasma. Watch this. There it goes again. You can see the whole shape of it. It would be a large explosion, earthbound. I'll show it to you one more time because it's so fascinating. I've never seen anything like it. You obviously must be able to see it. And we also are having the sides of the sun blink. Watch the sides of the sun. They'll blink intermittently here. There they are. Blinking, blinking. And you can see them blink there again. Very strange situation. Not quite sure what they're up to, but it's never good for us. You can see the blinking on the sides. And also, see, whatever this is coming down from the sun here, as it blinks on both sides of the sun, strange stuff. All right, headed over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. See how many of those flares we're going to be able to see here, at least a few of them. There is one of our weaker M flares. There is another one, and we should see, well, I don't know why it started over there. We definitely didn't 
started over and it wasn't to the end. We're not going to be able to see the latest and greatest? That's strange. We're going to pull it over there and see. Should be about 15, 20, something like that. Should be right about here. Don't know why it jumped over like that. Never seen that occur before. Right there. And that's our M1 that we just had. Uh, so it looks like four or five M flares, depending on if you look at nose data or if you're looking over at Space Weather Live. And again, there may have been a film eruption that we missed being that fifth M flare not being assigned to a sunspot or as a solar flare. All right, this is the backside of the sun. Horrific looking. Numerous sunspot groups all headed around. So it's going to be a really, really tough, well, end of the month for July. Although I've had a really tough beginning of the month. I haven't really slept for two, three days because you, well, it's really hard to sleep when it's 100 degrees, as you can imagine. With that said, guys, it looks like we're getting bombarded by M flares from AR3738. I wanted to go over to STL real quick and show you what HMI magnetogram looks like. It's like a reverse polarity sunspot, northern hemisphere, block over white, negative over positive. This is real questionable. The very complex sunspot that's facing us. And this looks like white over black to me right here, reverse polarity. This is supposed to be slim or seldom ever, but that's about all we're seeing these days. We are close to that uh, solar pole, magnetic pole flip, so that could be what's responsible for all the reverse polarity sunspots. Looks like there's white over black and black, well, I don't know about black over white. Really hard to see, 37, 38, directly earth-facing. Then over to Soho 284 Angstroms. And we have that coral hole directly earth facing. So within 40 hours, we should see an uptick in solar winds. But this is 3738. It doesn't look as horrific, even as the sunspot's coming around the limb. Although we did decide that many of these look like they're reverse polarity sunspots, which are extremely dangerous. Although, 3738 looks like it also may be the same. With that said, God bless you and yours, folks. Uh, I will be back. I need some sleep, but uh, won't be doing it right now. Please share our video. Please subscribe. And always remember, anything's possible in the bizarro world.